What is going on guys, JTales here with a brand new YouTube series for you guys. This is going to be my playthrough of Xenoblade Chronicles X. Chronicles X. And um, I'm just going to continue my file. I basically just started the game and I'm about an hour into the game. So that's the extent of my playtime. I grinded a little bit, I figured out the combat, I got some few items, and I made it to the first town. And now we resume from here. So I am i don't really plan on streaming this series. I'm gonna, I plan on just doing full um, YouTube only. So for right now, um, What's wrong? purpose of a blade. Hmm, let's discuss. This Carl's pathetic. I put him on in indigen control duty and he hasn't killed a single one. If I didn't have so many damn duties of my own, I'd march right up to him and spank him like the insolent child he is. Hey, if you're headed that way, could you give Carl a message for me? He'll be the one loitering out in front of the arms manufacturer's building. Tell him to pull his head out and get his goddamn work done before Trevor has to stick a boot so far up his ass he'll taste shoe polish for a month. Man. Alright, this guy is, uh... Alright. Cool, so this is, this is oh, mission control. Cutscene. We don't have a dispatch system yet, so blades usually choose their own assignments. Everyone comes here and selects from the missions available on the board. And it's not just official blade tasks. Anyone with a request is free to post here. Businesses, citizens, whoever. Yeah, it's basically how anything gets done in New LA, so the board is constantly updated. Just about every blade will stop by here at some point in their shift. It's like our second home. You'll always find a number of blades around here, blowing off steam or browsing mission control for their next assignment. Whenever I get freed up, I'll stop here first thing to check for any missions I might be suited for. Likewise. And if the assignment seems too tough to handle solo, that's what the scout console is for. We should show you that next. Hey, who's giving this tour anyway? We also have the scout console, if the assignment seems too tough to handle solo. And uh, Elma just said that, didn't she? Alright. Um, interesting. So, am I able to use this yet? Or do I have to register? Yeah, I'm not a blade yet. Yes. Can I, um... Can I inquire? Uh, as a blade, you can. Hmm. Oh, I see you haven't registered as a blade yet. Well, if you do register and join the division, you'll be able to accept the missions right here. I understand you haven't decided what role you want to play, and that's fine. But I believe you'll make a splendid blade. Trust me. I've seen countless blades standing right here. I know talent when I see it. Alright, so how do I register? Head to the blade scout console in New LA's administrative district. Hmm. Alright. Oh, well... Here is the blade console. Who do I talk to? Oh, here we go. All right, I guess this is going to uh... the blade scout console. When the going gets tough, the tough go to the scout console. You what? know, to get tougher. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> if you do end up joining us, you'll quickly realize just how important this little kiosk is. A lot of the mission control assignments are too much for any one blade to handle. They tend to call for multiple members with specialized knowledge or unique skills. This console lets you search for and recruit other blades to fill those roles for just such an occasion. Okay. You can't spell blade without team. Sort of. Anyway, awesome, right? So you're ready to join up? I am so hey, ready. Come Lynn, take it easy, would you? What? I'm just saying you'd have to be some kind of an idiot not to want to join blade. Or maybe a crazy person. Oh, and here I thought you might be pressuring our guest. Apology accepted. Now, how about a little shopping? And I'm not talking about the stuff over in the commercial district. I'm talking about Armory Alley. Alright, I'm down to um, armor up. Head to Armory Alley in New LA's Listen. administrative district. Cool, so we can sprint just to make things quicker. Oh, nice. Armory Alley. Once you've discovered a location, you can fast travel there, so that makes things way easier um, in the future. So this street's what we call Armory Alley. 
Blades can requisition equipment from any of the vendors here. I won't lie. Most Blade members face danger on a daily basis. Having the latest gear isn't about impressing your friends. It's a matter of survival. True enough. And that goes not only for your personal armor and weapons, what we call ground gear, but for skell equipment as well. You can even buy whole skells. Can you imagine owning your own skell? Ah. Uh, huh? Oh, right, the door. I think all that's left is the heart of Blade itself. Blade Tower. All right, head to Blade Tower entrance. Wait, so can I buy stuff hey. before we, uh... What? No, I want to buy stuff. I want some armor. Where the future, that's cool. I like that, um... Oh, I'm not a Blade, so I can't do that yet. Gosh, all right. Um, I guess let's go this way. So the minimap is pretty good. They're pretty good at um, telling you where you need to go. Um, so I enjoy that. What is? Oh, okay, cool. So yeah, Blade Tower. When we come here, it's usually to stop by Blade HQ. The higher ups, like Secretary Nagi and Commander Vandom, will spend most of their day here. The government leaders too. They're based in the tower. Guys like our new Director General Maurice Chausson, for example. Blades sometimes report to the leadership here after we finish key assignments. You'll want to remember this place. And that about does it for our tour. So, what do you think? Pretty amazing setup, right? You can't wait to join Blade, right? <sighs> okay, Lynn, seriously, that's enough. We're not here to make a sales pitch. We just want you to have all the facts so you can make an informed decision to join us, or not. Now that you've seen where and how we work, hopefully it made a good impression, but your decision will be just that, your decision. In any case, let's head back to the barracks. Secretary Nagi will be waiting. Oh, cool. Story mission complete. So this is the first quest um, that I've completed. So as you can see, I am very much in the beginning of the game. Uh, very, very much. I'm gonna just save it real quick, and I guess I have to uh, go back. I'm not sure if I can fast warp yet, but this thing is. All right, I guess I gotta go around. It's fine. I'm gonna learn the ropes while I'm here. Can I do this thing? Yes. Nope. Field skill is inefficient. That's fine. All right, so we're gonna go back to Secretary Nagi. I can't do any missions yet. I can't buy any armor because I'm not a blade, hey. but I want to go and become one. Hey. Because why wouldn't you? Why would you play this game and not want to become a blade, basically? Is this where I go? Yeah. Cool. Alright. <clears throat> so I'm going to tell the guy yes and see if I can maybe go on a mission uh, before, before I have to end. The cutscenes are quite extensive in this game. Honey, we're home. Yes, very amusing. Who wants a fresh cup of tea? Thank you, Ms. Gu, but I can't stay long. I just wanted to pass along a request from your commanding officer. Commander Vandom? Hmm. Does it have anything to do with our new arrival? Correct. He stopped by while you were out on your tour. He said he'll come back, but that I shouldn't wait to ask you. <laughs> Here we go. I bet I can guess. You probably can. He wants to fast-track our new friend here for blade duty with a training assignment. What in the hell are we waiting for? As he put it. The commander does have a way with words. <laughs> Makes even my pitch sound smooth. I explained about the memory issues, but he didn't see it as a problem. And to be honest, given our current need for blade recruits, I can't say I entirely disagree. Hey, it's not me you need to convince. Blade service is voluntary, remember? Of course, and I would never force or coerce anyone. Well, friend, what do you say? Can we count on you to do your part? Um, <laughs> look into Nagi's eyes and nod firmly, or... 
shrug your shoulders and shake your head. <laughs> I mean, maybe if this is another playthrough, I would try refusing, but I'm going to accept for this first time around. I knew you'd make the right choice. Welcome to the organization. Awesome. I am now Alma, a blade you member. Start on your team. You begin training immediately. Immediately, yes, like right now. With pleasure. All right. Welcome to the Cool Kids Club. <laughs> oh, I'm a cool kid now, huh? <laughs> Thanks, Lynn. You're 13 years old. Now then, let's discuss that training assignment. We've decided to start you out on a probe installation just to get your feet wet. I guess we should back up a bit. Here in New LA, we're using a specialized computer system called Frontier Nav to help us deploy a sensor grid across Mira. A network of data probes that allows us to monitor conditions and collect all kinds of information about the planet. Expanding that grid and filling in the blind spots is one of Blade's highest priorities. Here, take a look at this. What you're seeing on screen is a terrain map that includes New LA and the surrounding landmass. As you can see, we've divided the area into a series of hexagonal blocks. We call these blocks segments. Together, they form our grid. We determined this was the most efficient path given the limited range of our probes. Based on it, we know exactly where we need the probes to go. Now we just have to install them. The sooner the better, as far as I'm concerned. The Frontier Nav probes can also detect the general locations of living things in the vicinity. Which comes in handy if we need to track down a blade or another citizen. Yes, quite handy indeed. So for this first exercise, you'll be heading here, to that white segment. Go there, install the data probe, and then come back home. Got it. East of the city. In that case, we can take the east gate out of the administrative district, right? We should be there in no time. I'll leave the details on the data probe installation procedure to you, Emma. Of course, Mr. Secretary. All right, you two. Shall we? Yeah! Training or not, let's go install the hell out of that probe! Cool. Got another quest, so that's awesome. And I wonder where they're gonna... Alright, Chapter 2, The New Frontier. I'm hyped. Chapter 1 was, um... I think it was called The Beginning or something like that. And it was basically just, um, you know, for those of you who don't want spoilers, mute now. Um, but you wake up, uh, crash landed, and Alma, like, finds you. And then she's basically like, here, let me give you a weapon. We gotta go to, like, the main town, which is this place. And that's basically all I've done. And then I got a grand tour of the entire city. And now I'm trying to do missions and become a blade. And that's basically it. That's all I've done. Uh, so you haven't missed too much if you think that uh, maybe I've gone ahead uh, with the game. So now another question I want to ask you guys is do you like short segmented videos? If maybe I could start recording these um, as like 10 to 18 minute videos or would you prefer long portions like 30-40 minutes? I can do either one. It would be a long walk all the way back over to the west gate. Hold on. Are we even sure the East Gate will be open? Last I heard, it was still on lockdown from all the high-level indigen activity. It was, but they just lowered the threat level earlier today. The gates are officially open for business. One of our teams must have gone out there and kicked some furry indigen butt, huh? Um... Yeah, it w actually was me and Alma, so... As we were coming in, uh, like a group of indigenous uh, species came and attacked us, the indigenin, and we, we killed them all, so. Seriously? That was you? Cool. I don't think so. Those Grexes we took down were fairly routine. Oh, oops. Definitely not something they'd lock both gates over, at least. Okay, I guess it wasn't us. Rip. <laughs> then I take my cool back. <laughs> but wait a sec. You guys fought Grexes? The two of you? Hey, that's still pretty cool. Thank you. They've been hassling a lot of teams lately, especially how they hunt in packs and all. I'm glad Let's that I got my cool back. Excited. Confidence can be good. Overconfidence can be fatal, especially when you're new. Yeah, you're right.
But enough talk. We've got our mission to deal with. Let's head out. Roger. That probe isn't going to install itself. Let's get to the East Gate, shall we? Alright, and I'm guessing that that's the East Gate that we have to go to. Um, this is Eleanor, a blade support lead here, to tell you that the segment map is now available for your use. The map displayed on your handheld custom game device is a useful tool. Oh, I see the map. Um, with lots of info about Mira, give it a look if you're unsure where you are and what to do. Cool. That's actually fairly helpful. So, um, I think for the interest of time, I'm going to have to, uh, cut the episode here, um, since it has been about 16 minutes, but stick around for the next episode when I do actually go on the mission and install the probe and figure out the rest of this game. Um, so let me know what you guys think about shorter video lengths or longer video lengths in the comments. Let me know how you're enjoying this first episode, and thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all next time. Later.